Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to print out envelopes and labels using Address Book. So the Address Book app is about to get a name change and Mountain Line will be called Contacts. But either way, it's got functionality to allow you to print envelopes and labels right from Address Book. A lot of people know how to do this through pages using like a mail merge, but you can do this right from Address Book. Let me show you how. So here I've got my address book. It has some sample names in it. Make sure you're viewing both pages here. You can do that by viewing list and card. So here I have a list of all my addresses. I can also click up here and go to my groups. Uh, it's all contacts, uh, friends in iCloud uh, and I would have any other groups I would want here. Whichever one you choose will be the one that you send to the printer. So I'm going to choose all contacts and I'm going to go to my print dialog box. File print. Now you have a ton of options. If you don't see these options notice this hide details button. It turns to a show details button. If you see it like this you have to hit show details and it gives you all this good stuff. And they have a ton of different options in here. And you can choose of course your printer and different settings for your printer number of copies and things like that. But if you choose in here address book then all the stuff down here will relate to the, the app. So it will be app specific including the style. And there's four different styles which you can print your addresses. We're going to focus on the first two, mailing labels and envelopes. So with mailing labels you can see here little labels printed here on the sample sheet. Um, I can go in here and do some changes like for instance I can change which addresses to print. Um, I can change what order to print them in alphabetical or postal code order. I can add country uh, and company to them if I want. If I have those fields in there change the color of the address there. I can even set an image. Let me go and set an image here to um, Oh, they just pick a uh, quick little JPEG image. You can see it's kind of placed that to the left there. So if you have a company logo or it's something kind of fun to put there, if it's like an invitation you're sending out or something, um, and you can change the font as well. And you can see the preview here on the left. Now, how is that going to match the labels that you've bought for your printer? Well, if you go to Layout, you can see here you can choose all sorts of different things here. For instance, I can choose Avery Standard uh, and choose the exact label that I'm printing from. So if I change it to something you can see how it changes here on the left. And you can also define your own if you wish um, and change it with margins and labels, uh, rows, columns, gutters, all sorts of things. So you can make sure something fits what you've got. But chances are if you're going to use uh, something uh, you know, standard it will show like Avery 5161 and you know that's the label that you're printing on and it will line up perfectly with that. So you can send that to the printer. You can also create a PDF which is handy if say you want to print the labels out somewhere else. You can save it as a PDF. Take that PDF to whatever computer is hooked up to the printer with the labels and uh, print them out from the PDF without having an address book there. Now your other option is to go to envelopes. When we switch to envelopes you will see the little envelope preview here and you can click on layout here and select all sorts of different types of envelopes. So there's tons of different ones. And you can get one to match what you've got there. Uh, you can even choose orientation, for instance, if they go into your printer this way versus going into your printer that way. And then you can choose what goes in, how, which addresses go in. You can see here it says seven addresses are going to be sent out, uh, what order they're printed in, other stuff to include, and you can also include an image and change the font as well. Uh, note that you know you can see seven addresses here. I had more than seven addresses in my address book. The reason it's not printing more is because a lot of those didn't have addresses. They were just phone numbers or email addresses not physical addresses. So of course it's going to skip those automatically. This functionality can come in real handy. For instance even if you just want to print one quick envelope you have it in your address book and you have your printer handy there. Pull out the envelope, stick it in, and print that single address to an envelope. You can do it quicker than actually writing on the envelope in some cases. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.